guys, welcome back to Hey Jessica TV. Today I'm going to walk you through how to create an easy and fun YouTube intro in Photoshop. So this is a tutorial I've been asked for a lot. Now, one thing you want to remember is if you're ever wanting to create GIFs or GIFs, however you want to say that, um, of moving objects or like still shots that sort of move like a robot. Ooh, 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 ooh then this is sort of the same you do it the exact same way as I'm going to show you how to make this intro except that you don't add music let's get started all right so in Photoshop you want to do a new document and you want to create it at these dimensions 2650 by 1440 and 300 resolution and hit create now you'll get a blank document just like this and you can add guides or whatever you need to do. But I will say that we're doing this at double the dimensions it actually needs to be, but that's okay. So what you need to do is hit place embed and embed any type of images or layers that you want to use here. So I'm going to go in and find some images I want to use. I'll just use this website background and, um, insert it into the post or to the image. Okay. Once I've dragged that where I want it, I'm going to go create some other layers that, um, you know, I want to, to use inside of the intro. So I'm going to place in my logo next and I'm just going to make a super simple, um, intro here that, you know, doesn't really require a lot of work. So I'm just going to place this hi y'all. Uh, hey, I'm Jessica in here and I'm going to drag it all the way to the bottom. So you can't really see it because I want that to be sort of what happens first. Now you could drag as many layers as you want to on to your layers palette and have as many things as you want to inside of your intro. All right. So now we want to go to when your to view your timeline. So you'll go and you'll view the timeline and then you'll see there that create video timeline. You want to make sure that's selected and you want to just double click on it. So it'll sort of open up this view here and we don't want this view. So you want to scroll down and go and open your timeline view, which is the three boxes at the bottom on the far left of this timeline thing right there. All right. So now you'll see that you have one layer there and that if you make any changes over on the layers palette, it shows there. So you'll want to create a new layer for each new piece of the intro you want. So for this one, we're going to have the first layer just be my picture. Then the second layer or the second timeline frame be the what you see here like with my picture and the high a little bit into the frame then the third one I'm going to move the high a little bit further up then I'll make another one move it just a little further up make another one <laughs> move it a little further up until it gets to where I want it to be um, that way it has like this gradual motion thing going on and it works perfectly so I'm going to create another layer now and I'm going to turn off the high y'all and make a new layer with a box and some text to sort of come after that has happened. So I'm doing this really quickly just to give you a good example of how this works, but you can obviously make this as complicated or as easy as you want to. So basically I'm just really putting, you know, that's really all and putting that inside of a block inside of Photoshop. So now that that's in there, I'm going to turn off those layers in these first few frames because I hadn't selected and created a new one yet. So now I'm going back and turning it on in that last frame. So what will happen is you can see in each frame what's on and what's off. And so now I created one with just the pink box and one that's going to have the text. Now I can go through and see each one of these and hit play and see what it looks like. And I'm deciding I want to change the duration of each slide 
you could call it, or image, um, to much shorter so that it's a much more fluid reaction. And you can have no delay, you can have whatever you want. I actually ended up making this one too short, um, but I didn't change it. So that's it. Um, it was, that's literally all you have to do um, to make this. So now what you want to do though is save the darn thing. So now, one thing I forgot to do, you do want to make sure that you've got it set to only once or repeating, however you want to do that, um, but I recommend saying once. So, so now you want to go to File and Export and Save for Web. If you're in some older version, Save for Web will be out by itself, but this is in Creative Cloud. So I do want to make sure it's a GIF or a GIF. Um, and that's really all you need to make sure of there. And then just hit save. And here in this palette, or in this window, I guess, you want to obviously name it. And you want to make sure it is saving the images only and not the HTML and the images. And then just hit save. So it'll save inside of whatever folder you told it to save in. And the problem is that saving it this way is going to save each one of these frames you created as a different image. So it sort of makes it hard to view as one fluid GIF. So something really easy you can do is go in and open up the file you saved and drag it over to your browser window. So I'm using Chrome, so I'm gonna drag the file I saved over to my Chrome window and sort of watch it play there. Now this is where it would be handy to have it play over and over, but I did select once, so um, you'll see how that sort of works here. So it plays inside my window, and you can see how short that is. Um, I'm just gonna drag my window to be all encompassing, and I am going to open up QuickTime and record my screen. And as I record my screen, I'm gonna refresh this and let QuickTime record that. So now I have a movie file from QuickTime of this. So now you want to take that recorded file you just recorded in QuickTime and take it into iMovie and insert it as, an, as a movie and then insert some music over it and save it and you are done. It is literally that easy. Mm -hmm.